moved by the most holy spirit the spirit of god the spirit of truth i have let the light of faith and reason to talk today about a recent happening one that has been the source of so much controversy so much debate so much talk is titled the resurrection miracle people ask so many questions about it some say is it true was the man really dead is it genuine uh, is the church faking that incident it is incumbent upon me to give you a theological perspective of what the miracle is in the first place the miracle according to the new encyclopedia of catholic doctrine is some supernatural extraordinary sense perceptible realization that is manifested by god as an external sign of his glory external because god is constantly working within you god is working in your subconscious he's doing so many things things that you cannot even imagine however miracles come as external support please let's bear in mind the miracle is supposed to be secondary it's supposed to be supplementary to our growth as children of god the miracle is not primary so now that we know that the miracle is this auxiliary thing that supports us we ask our questions is our faith based on miracles i'll tell you that you go even in the bible in the time of our master jesus you realize that many people had um, pains they had they were inflicted but just the selected few were cured or healed miraculously because miracles are just signs especially for those who have little faith to boost them up miracles are not everything you cannot base your trust in god your life as a christian on, on signs on wonders on sensations it does not mean that if you never have such extraordinary manifestation in your life then you are not a good christian no that's not how it works because even in the days of jesus just a selected few were cured even in the days of the prophets of old there were so many sick people why didn't why didn't they heal all of them why did jesus not give food to everyone to eat this is the light of reason we should look at this we should not base our trust in god on signs on wonders on externalities because when the pharisees came to our master and asked him please give us the sign what did you tell them he said the best sign is the sign of jonah in the stomach of the fish because faith in god is a blind trust when you believe it's not because of externalities it's not because you have been given these signs these wonders you believe because you believe belief is a grace and we are saved by grace so faith is the gift that god gives us to understand what he is doing so we should not base our 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 faith on externalities let's take even the case of the apostle thomas our lord told him that he is believing because he has seen but master jesus said happy are those who believe without sin our faith is not based on externalities it's not based on sensual perceptions you should understand that our master jesus came back to restore us first of all spiritually first of all spiritually the material is secondary because you bear with me that you cannot be 100 percent restored while you're on this earth because the fulfillment of the glory will be in heaven so no matter how spiritual you are you claim to be you can't be at a hundred percent so let's not be very excited about these externalities but you see ask me i've said so many things but what then is my position about this particular event i'll ask you this question who made you judge what is that to you why do you look at somebody and try to see that there is a speck in your eye when you cannot remove the lock of wood in your own eyes let god be god and let man be man let god be the judge of all of this have faith in god who will take action in this time but now i have this serious appeal to all preachers all men of god we should always bear in mind our sense of accountability and responsibility god will judge all of us he will judge everything we do even the things we do in secret so we should preach god and not ourselves let's see god continuously in humility and sincerity because that is what god requires because humility comes before glory 
Thank you.